So most of us in our lifetime will not ever understand what it means to be deprived. And we will feel deprived. We will have the feelings of deprivation and we will have to master that thought that there isn't enough because there is enough in our lifetime physically. We don't need to indulge. So in my own work of like why I feel like there's not enough and I've shared you know personal things, it's worth it. It's worth it to look at the history of your personal sense of deprivation. And why do you indulge? Where did it come from? For me, the you know, food with my dad and with my mother, just, you know, the money aspect, being able to buy things that I don't need. And obviously with my own personal sense of feeling like um, freshness or availability of breast milk, but it wasn't just the breast milk, obviously it's also the, you know, the, the skin to skin, the, the comfort, the calm touch. So, you know, with all these things, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it because as we develop this unconditional love for ourselves, and recognizing how there is reasons for why we are acting kind of like with an old paradigm that's not relevant for our current lifetime, um, we can affect change all around us. And through this unconditional love, uh, being able to be having that mastery and patience, we're actually letting people catch up. When we practice not l lashing out, letting out our emotions on others, we give others a chance to catch up. There's enough room to grow. There's enough innocence and you're going to be okay. And we radiate this subtle mastery. That power is really what we want from all the things we may be attached to. All the indulgences we want to feel the power of relief, of calm, of happiness. So I wish that for you and thank you for spending your time with me. Be well.